Hello everyone, this is MCON, bringing you another episode of our Dragon Age Origins Let's Play. Uh, we're off here, uh, about to talk to Morgan, who seems to like to keep a fair distance between herself and the rest of the party. Uh, kind of weird, but okay. So, uh, let's see what she's got to say to us. What do you wish of me? I'd, uh, like to ask you something, Morgan. If you must. Well... Uh, is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? Hmm. It would seem she is a powerful Malefica. You mean, is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience? Well, uh, I've talked to Liliana about some of the tales of Flemeth, but I'm more interested in the truth than tall tales. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. That sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Yes, I've heard this part. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard, and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that t'was Osin who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord, who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osen and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osen agreed. Oh, such a different story than the one I was told by Liliana. Flemeth must have been angry. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. She spoke to spirits? Or was it demons? Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until... much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Really? Which part? She never invaded or he never defeated her? The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the Lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. Hmm. Do you believe her version? I do not believe everything that Flemeth claims. Often it seems her bitterness has colored her memories. But on the whole, yes, I believe this tale, if not all. How is it that Flemeth has survived for so long? These stories were of centuries ago. The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. Mm. Aren't abominations usually insane horrors? How often is this usually? Always? If not always, then when is it not true? 
There are more things in this world and the next than you or I could ever hope to understand. What Flemeth became is a mystery. I suspect even to her. The legends tell of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? The Chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. Hmm, an interesting story. Thank you, Morgan. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. My mother... She died a long time ago. Ah, oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. What do you wish of me? If you must. I cannot teach you, no. But any other mages that cared to learn, yes, I could do that. Send whoever you wish my way, and I shall teach them what I can in the camp, provided they possess the will to even make the attempt. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis <coughs> as good a time as any. 